sign, earth sign. How are you doing today? Welcome into your weekend reading. This is August 1st through the 3rd. Messages that want to come through for you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see where we go, my darlings. Hopefully everything is good for you. We are moving into an Aquarius full moon on Monday, square Uranus, so expect the unexpected. Okay, expect the unexpected, and then we are moving uh, more deeply into Lionsgate portal. And that is about strength, courage, passion, fire. All of these things are in the energy right now. So let's see here, here and now. Poised, I think I got that in the fire reading, I think. Change in the wind. Okay, so that seems, uh, things seem pretty peaceful right now. I think you might have even laughed at me when I said expect the unexpected. Um, but in order to level up, you must first let go of something that you did not expect you had to let go of, okay? So that can cause a little bit of... Um, Ooh, I didn't know I had to let go of that. I mean, I'm ready to let go of a bunch of this stuff, but that? And it's because there's some kind of attachment. Attachment is what's being taught here. Okay, attachment. Let's see. One more, please. All right, let's see. Let's see where we go here. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So this is for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, hello. I'm sorry. I forgot my beginning. All right. So three of swords underneath. Four of wands. And here we are. Aquarius energy. That's the new moon. And strength. Lion's Gate. So could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. Okay, let's see here. Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Empress, Taurus and Libra, Scorpio, Death Energy, Ace of Cups. I've been seeing this all day. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy there, Six of Wands. Okay, so somebody is in the way of a good relationship for you. Somebody who keeps hurting you, who keeps lying to you, who keeps dumping you, okay? Who keeps, no matter, whenever you get happy, this person wants to crush you, all right? Whenever you deal with somebody like this, how do you know dysfunction? Because you never know what you're going to get. So you come home happy, having a good day, and bam! They're in a miserable mood. But another time you come home and happy and they're joyful for you. So this person is emoting, having emotional responses, and they don't understand their own feelings. They're also a little bit um, dysfunctional as it relates to being in relationship with you. Because there should always be just this thing that we have and stuff happens around it and feelings happen around it and all kinds of stuff, but it's not about blasting you. That's why when people say, I have to vent, it's like you're kind of dumping on other people. What you want to do is you want to learn how to deal with your emotions. You can share stories and stuff, but don't dump on people, okay? That's what's happening here. Somebody, one of you or some of you, Whenever you get high, whenever you get, not high, but whenever you get a promotion, when things good, something good happens to you, this person tries to dump all over it, okay? Um, I feel like you are at a place where you're getting more, better opportunities. Things are coming along. Things are moving forward. And there's just this person who just dumps all over it, okay? Um, this is a person who doesn't feel good about themselves. They're also somebody who is very selfish, okay? Um, I feel like you could, this person, you know, waits for you to wait on them. 
They want you to take care of them and deal with them. And it's like, you know what, when, 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 earth sign, are you going to see that this person is just selfish? Okay? Just selfish. Now, doesn't mean that this is the person's sign. I see Taurus and Libra. Okay, Taurus. And I see Aquarius. I see Scorpio and Leo. So I'll look at those in the extended. But this does feel like you have some options here, two of pentacles. Um, when you end this relationship with whoever is being selfish with you, could be a friend, doesn't have to be another lover, could be a friend, could be a parent. Whenever you finish this dynamic, doesn't mean you cut your parent off or you, it doesn't have to be that. You just got to get better at dealing with them. Whenever that's done for you, something really good is going to come through. Because like I said, you've been getting more opportunities. You've been really being in alignment with who you are. And then there's just this person who just dumps. Okay. It's not meant, it's only meant to take you down. Okay. It's not, they want to vent. They want and you're like, you're going to call me up and you're going to dump all over me, aren't you? You could have a friend like this. Okay. Friends do this all the time. Now, two of pentacles. It's like, how long am I going to stay stuck in this situation? I feel like you are overcoming it. Here's the Virgo energy, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Hierophant. So I feel like you are getting into your power, right? Taurus here, Virgo, getting into your power of being stable and being able to withstand this, okay? Withstand the wind like a hurricane, all right? Like a hurricane coming, a coming, <laughs> a hurricane, a coming, all right? That's what's a coming. And someone is, I feel like you're going to have some really good opportunities. And the better your life gets, the worse this gets. That is consistent. All right? That is consistent. Um, you may not see it that way because they behave irrationally or something like that. But this person is definitely not wanting your success. They don't like it. Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Devil Energy, Nine of Cups. This person is a karmic connection. And I don't mean, you know, when we talk about karmics, not all karmics are negative, okay? But in this instance, um, I feel like you, in your power here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, can defend yourself against this. Um, this person is, is um, one of the tools they use is they try to confuse you. This is gaslighting. It's called gaslighting. They try to confuse you, okay, and make you feel like you're trapped. Devil energy and the Eight of Swords is feeling trapped. This person is super happy when that happens. I did a reading the other day, and it was called Stop the Insanity. You might want to go look at that because this is about somebody who's happy when you're sad, someone who is they fill themselves up with your energy and then they don't care. They're depleting you. They never give anything back. Okay. That's who this person is. You are overcoming it. However, the, the strength and the six of wands cards are both overcoming energy. Okay. It's, it's overcoming energy. It's a way of getting past it. I do feel like this Aquarius new moon full moon, sorry, Aquarius full moon happening on Monday is going to bring you a lot of clarity. You see things in the dark. You see things that you never saw before. Okay, that's moon energy, right? That's like, is it an illusion or is it real? I feel like you might not, when I say this about this person, you might give them a whole lot of excuses. Oh, well, they're, they have, you know, debilitating arthritis. Oh, well, they just, you know, they're going through a rough time at work. Oh, well, they have a difficult parental situation. Oh, la, 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 la. But all may be true and worthy of compassion, but not worthy of you being dumped on. So the King of Swords here is now the new energy being injected here, which is I no longer am interested in being dumped on. So when this person comes at you and starts talking to you, at you. It's at you. You feel talked at. Like you're just a sponge that's supposed to absorb this. Um, I feel like you need to get good at making your bubble. Okay? Making the bubble around you, protective bubble. Only people who are coming toward me 
in love and compassion with positive energy can advance toward me. The other thing you might want to do is put a, um, and this is a visualization technique, to put mirrors around you facing out. So whenever vampires, this person's a vampire, this person is a, um, someone who likes to drain your energy, likes to see you down. Whenever this person advances toward you, they see themselves and they go the other way. Okay, energetically, their soul is like, ooh, I don't want to be near that, right? They don't know that they're doing this necessarily. They could be very unconscious about this. This is someone who lives their life in an unconscious way. They're not conscious. And they are somebody who, look at me though, laud me with praise, bring me this, and then they just dump on other people. Okay, you know who I'm talking about. If this resonates with you, you know exactly who I'm talking about. So your job here is to protect yourself because when you do that, you're going to win. Okay, you're going to win. There is a uh, new love coming in. Um, there is a new beginning coming in for you. I feel like this person, when you do that, when you change your behavior, you're never going to change this person, but when you change your behavior, just watch what happens. All right, so I'm going to look at all this stuff. I, I do see you here, definitely. I'm, I see Libra, I see Scorpio, I see Aquarius, and I see Leo. So I'm going to look at those in the extended and see what we get. Um, to continue on with this reading, August 1st through the 3rd. Link is below if you'd like to continue on. I'll see you over there.